guys, my name is Isabella Otu and today we are on Prime Time with a very interesting young man who is a member of DWP Academy. He is making waves now. He's going to different countries, teaching dance, inspiring people, changing lives and he's doing quite a lot. And today I want you to pay attention, rapt attention to the interview as we get to know him more as a person and what he's about i believe you'll be inspired by the things he does and everything we're going to talk about in this interview stay tuned do not move hi hello what's good <laughs> you're welcome thank you thank you so yeah, much yeah yeah i'm happy to be here i'm happy you're here too i'm excited you are here i'm <laughs> nice. excited you are finally sitting in front of me hmm. and I get to know you more and those are that get to know you more i'm sure there are so many people out there who want to know who you really are what you're about what you've been up to what's going on and we're going to give them all that juice all all the details <laughs> in this interview i'm ready let's go yeah i'm ready too so let's start from your name of course that's your brand okay so my name is Roland from Ponya Home, but a lot of people know me as Champion Roly. Champion Roly. Yeah. So Champion Roly is your stage name. Yeah. And Roland from Ponya Home. That's my. It's actual your name. actual name. Yeah. The name that your mother and your father the gave you. And the adoring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's interesting. So why why Champion why Champion Roly? Okay, Roly probably the. Yeah, Roly is from the name Roland. Roland. Yeah, and the champion. I have like a little story. So um, mm. when I went to we're university, ready to hear. <laughs> when I went to university, okay, I met this friend who was also a dancer. Okay. And his name is Global Jello. Okay. Yeah, and his name sounded so nice. At that time, I was using only Roly. Yeah, his name sounded so nice, and I was like, no, bro, I want a name like that. I want like something, something. Something, something. You don't just want yeah, really, I just don't, yeah, really it sounded so, yeah, it sounded so simple. But yeah. I was like, okay, I want, I wanted like something roly, and then we started like suggesting names, and then champion came up. Wait, wait, wait what are some of the names you both suggested? Oh, um, um, I actually also wanted like global roly, oh, okay. but he was like, oh nah, it will be yeah. like yeah. You so, cannot be twinning with yeah, names. Come yes, on. Yes, yes. And then champion came up, and I was like, yo. Champion is, sounds yeah, like it makes it. sense because yeah. like being a champion is, is yeah. something good. The name, the name carries weight. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. And champion ever really. since I got that name, I've always been a champion. Wow, yeah. you've always been a champion. Yeah. Champion Rolly. Yeah, big name. Mm -hmm. I think the name, the branding is Charlie. Solid. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Oh, I really? love it. Champion Rolly. I'm glad. Yeah, it's Thank it's you. interesting. You're welcome. <laughs> So yes, uh, we also want to know how old you are because I've seen you're doing a lot and yes. I don't know if you're my age mate or <laughs> you're older or you're younger, but you're doing a lot. Okay, so I'm young. He's young. Yeah, very young. He's very young. Are you 12? Yeah. No, I'm not Yo, 12. Yo, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm 24. You're 24? Yeah. Well, I can't go and see the girls like. <laughs> I'm young, right? I'm yeah, 24, 24. But I'm young but, but mighty. Yeah, you're young but mighty. Yeah. You're young but old. Because in your 20s, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're an adult, too, Charlie. Yeah, but so I'm a young adult. Yeah, yeah. You're young but old. Yeah. That's interesting. I see. 24. Yeah. You turned 24 this year. Yeah, September, and I've been birthday, remember? September 21st. And that was the best birthday ever. Wow. Why was it the best birthday ever? Because I had a lot of gifts. People showed me so much love. Oh, yeah. All right, that's nice. Thank you all for showing him so much love on his birthday. Next year we go again. We go we're going to show him love. Yes. Yeah. So we want to know what what got you into dance first. What what made you love dance? What what pushed you into dancing? Okay, so first of all, I think is is that's what my passion drives me at, and um. Every time I see someone dance, like I feel so happy. It gives me some kind of happiness. Wow, I should and... be dancing. <laughs> I should be dancing yeah, so, more. Of it. So and my mom my mom also used to tell me that 
Anytime she's serving me food, like I can be there and I'll just be dancing. I'll be creating beats when for myself. When you were younger? Yes. Hey. I'll, be, I'll be making beats for myself with my mouth and I'll be dancing. Wow. If she's giving me food, before I'll take the food, I have to dance hey. and take the food. <laughs> and yeah, like That's all sorts of drama. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like dance is something that like, I'm able to express myself well with. Yeah, and I feel so happy when I dance. Like when, I, when I'm dancing, I don't think about my worries. Like I just... I'm just in a different world. Wow, yeah. that's nice. So dance makes you express yourself better. Yes. You're able to express yourself yes. in dancing. Yeah, I'm able to 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 bring out some inner feel, um, inner happiness. Yeah. yeah, I bet you feel so free when you're dancing. So, the world doesn't matter yes, anymore when like, you're dancing. Yeah, it's just you and the dance. Yeah, and the joy that comes with it, Charlie. Exactly. That's amazing. That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> we know you don't know how to dance. <laughs> And shall we well? So what kind of dance are you into? I mean, we've seen some of your videos, but then what kind of dance do you specialize in? I know there are so many types of dance. There's salsa, there's kizomba, there's kizalsa, there's afro dance, there's all that. I'm a piano. Okay, so... Yeah, um, I'm a piano. Yeah, yeah. so I, I major in afro dance. Okay. But, you know, being a dancer, like, I need to be versatile. So I have... I know I know a bit of my piano. I know a bit of hip hop and other genres of dance. But the main thing is Afro dance. That's what I do. Yeah. Okay, and I think that's what people know you for. Yes, the Afro dance. Yeah. And that's I mean it's it looks good on you. Come on, Thank you. we can't lie. I appreciate. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> did you always want to be a dancer? Honestly, mm -hmm. growing up, I wanted to be a footballer. Really? Yes. You don't look like a footballer. I don't look like a You look ah, like okay, a footballer. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah you're my legs. No, I don't know. Oh my I know if footballers have a looks up. <laughs> but you just like it. If you okay. tell me you're a footballer, I'll believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually not bad at playing football. Just that these days really? I don't train because the dance has taken over. But growing up, I wanted to be a footballer. I, I had like my 100% in football. I was playing football like almost every day. But the dance, I don't know, the dance was like hidden. Mm. Because even in SHS, I wasn't really dancing. What SHS did you um, go? Winneba Senior High School. And you were not dancing? No, I wasn't dancing. Like, I was only dancing in my dorm. Like, okay. people, people didn't know me for dance in SHS. They knew they know me for, for football. Oh. Yeah, so, so like, I feel like the dance was in me, but I was hiding it. <laughs> you were suppressing it. Yes. <laughs> Yes, because like my my mind was on the football and I didn't I didn't put my focus on the dance until I finished okay. SHS. Okay. Yeah, that was when like the dance unlocked mm. and I, I started like coming out yeah for people to know that yeah, I know so how So where did it unlock? It was it was um one time um um I went for a dance class. You know, I was home and you I was went feeling for a dance so, class. Yeah, I was feeling then you so really meant the dance alone. You know? yeah. I should okay. try it. Okay, so I'm I'm a type that if I want to do something, like I well, try you my set best. Your mind yes, to it. yes, I try my best to do it. Unless I don't set my mind on it. That's that, that sounds like a champion, you know. Yeah, of course. Like it's the name oh, the name changed my <laughs> the life. The name, yeah, yeah, you know. When God when God let me just chip this in. When God wanted to change Abraham's life. He changed his name first, yeah, so come you. on. Yeah. I'm sure God was changing your name. He of didn't course, know. He didn't know God was changing I'm just, it. I'm just moving in. <laughs> in, in, the, in the championship, the should we God, say? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, so, That's good. Yeah. That was, that was how the dancing came in. And now, now I love the dancing more than the football because I feel like the dancing has, it has had an impact on me and it's having an impact on people who watch me. Yeah, I think yeah, so. people get inspired yeah. when they see you dance. Yeah. When I'm scrolling on TikTok and I just see you put dancing, I'm like, oh, <laughs> it makes it, it brings joy. Yeah. You know, you are feeling happy, but yeah, that it's happiness is radiating, yeah. and we are feeling it in our homes, yes. and you are spreading joy. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the work of the Lord, making right. people happy, mm -hmm. and that's that's. And you know, people when I go live, people will be like, yo, your video made me i was depressed but now Aww. your video like it's, yeah, just, it, people. Yeah, it's just amazing <laughs> like when i hear stuff like that i'm mm -hmm. like wow you this, get, is, you get this happy. is crazy wow 
So, when did you join DWP? Okay, so I joined DWP in 2017. Hey, actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it was actually a friend who introduced me to DWP. Wow. Her name is Leah Dance. Your Leah. circle of friends. Leah, thank you Leah, so much. Leah, we are thanking you for <laughs> introducing him to yeah. DWP. Yeah. Like, I don't know if we'll all be here. So she called me and she was like, there's this dance group, da da da, and um, just try. Because she's she's also a dancer in DWP. She's also oh, part of DWP. So she's there now. Yeah, she's there now. Wow. So, thank you so much. Leah. So, yeah, Leah Dance. Hey, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so she called me and she said I should pull up and then. I went and I enjoyed the dance class and I felt like yo, I think this is this is what I'm looking for. This is where I, I have to be. This is where this I is need home. To grow. This yes. feels like home. Yes, yes. Because the vibe, <laughs> the energy, and everything was was top notch. Yeah, so wow. yeah, one thing about DWP, they have the vibe. <laughs> Come on, it's the first thing you feel. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. Like you don't have to talk for us to get the vibe. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's around you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Once you're around them, you just know they have the vibe. Come on. And that's, that's so cool. So are you schooling? Are you working? What's up now? Okay, so I completed in the last two years. KNUSD. Tech, or a tech boy? Yeah, I came out with flying colors. I'm not oh, say, yeah. he Those did. who know me, they know, yeah. Sir. I came out with flying colors. <laughs> And even in school, I was I was doing the dance in the school. So you were dancing at tech. Yes. Wow. I was dancing and schooling at the same time. It wasn't easy. I was multitasking, and um, uh, I mean, it has been it has been an amazing journey. Hmm. Yeah. So I completed uni in the last two years. Right now, it's only the dance I'm doing, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's only the dancing you're doing, hundred yeah. percent. I'm a professional dancer. He is a professional dancer. <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> hmm. It's not easy. See, some of us say, I'm sorry. I'm talking for all those who are like me out there. Mm -hmm. When you're sitting down there, the dance steps in our head. Charlie, right. you can't you you can't phantom it. <laughs> but the moment we get up to put it <laughs> in practice, you'll be disappointed. <laughs> you'll be disappointed. Is is that bad? I just hope that. One day, one day, we we'll also dance. Huh? For sure. <laughs> and somebody will see our dance and be inspired as well. <laughs> Why can you laugh? <laughs> so, hmm, this next question is I'm sure there are, there are so many of us who want to know, want to know the details of it, but then if somebody's like, I'm not coming and just be poking our nose inside. Yeah, so we we'll just, I think I, I can get you it. have an idea of the question here. But so I'll then, allow you, no, you ask. <laughs> You allow me to go on yeah, with my question, yeah, yeah. okay? So a few days ago, <laughs> why are you laughing now? <laughs> few days few ago, days was ago so about you, go. yeah, a few days ago, mm -hmm. our very own, our very own Afonita <laughs> celebrated her birthday, and on her birthday, on this day, I think in the evening or so, we saw videos of. The two of you. Why are you hiding your face? I'm Yo, not hiding my face. bro. I'm not hiding my face. I'm just let, let the camera see you clearly. People want to see the expression that comes when the question <laughs> is asked. <laughs> oh my god. So okay. yeah, we saw a video of you trending, the two of you. Mm -hmm. And in this video, you bought her flowers. You were, you know, the gentleman and lady stuff. Mm -hmm. And what was the song? I wanna come home to roses. They are not imposed. It's, that's a love song. Yeah. People are doing lovey dovey stuff. Yeah. And the, that, that was the day that the single single life pains us. Of, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> the single life pains us. What can we do? Yeah. Okay. So we want to know are you guys an item? Are you exclusive? What's happening? What's going on? Should a girl stop looking at you so that we know that you are one of our sister's own so that. We will not come and be worry worrying you. What's happening? Are you an okay, item? Okay, so first of all, Aphrodita is dear to my heart. She's my PP. My hey, hey, what's person. your PP? PP is personal person. Okay, she's my personal she's, person. She's yes. she's yes. his PP. <laughs> yeah, she's my personal person. But okay. we are not going out. And we are not going out. Yeah, that day was a day, and 
you know, she has been so supportive. Yeah, and like it's vice versa. You get me? Yeah. I take her matter like my mother. And she okay. does the same. So if someone touches Afronita, they touched you. Yes, kind of. They shouldn't dare. Yeah. So um I just had to surprise her and you know I got her that gift because you know like we, we talk a lot and she has two phones but the space and everything and you know like we are creative we are always shooting yeah. we are always filming so there's a lot yeah there's a lot of, of videos that's understandable she has to save and you know her phone was giving her problems Aww. so i felt like okay then it's a birthday i can actually solve yeah use the opportunity yes. to so do that. i just it was just a perfect timing wow yeah and then i got her the new phone and yeah, i just had to make it I just had to make it presentable because so she's that, not, was, that was with this, the whole setting. Yeah, she was. Hey, this she setting was, there was giving will was, you marry me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the setting was giving will you marry me. She I was waiting to see the the lights written will you marry me. Nah. I was not seeing any other. Like, no, it was just hey, this it was just a gift. This like, phone. Yeah, and it was You're on a bed day. Eye. It was on a bed day. Oh, yeah, but yeah, that's it. So you are not an item. No, we are not. You are not exclusive. No. So other other girls can shoot their shot. I mean, I I girls with me. <laughs> are you here? <laughs> you say you can shoot your shot. So our producer is watching. Oh, she'll be seeing ah, this. I know she's watching. So she'll be okay. Yeah. If other girls shoot their shot. I mean, you. No, so what has to be clear so no, that. I mean, you can shoot your shot. Okay. But it's up to me to miss that shot, or to take that shot because That's we, so hard right now I'm wearing an ammo. <laughs> Really? Yeah. You are protecting your heart. Yeah, I'm wearing an armor, so if you shoot your shirt. And it's I not mean, shooting, that's shooting yeah, not yeah. You just yeah. you just block it. You bounce it. I mean, right now I'm 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 actually focused on something. Okay. Yeah, so So you don't want to be thinking of Yeah, I don't want to be thinking of Yes I gonna have okay, pair boyfriend, girlfriend card. I mean, like anywhere. So I it's okay. It's, it's okay to focus on your stressed. dreams. We want to thank Big Chill Stays for the environment, the serenity they've given us to be able to host this interview. We're grateful, aren't we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we're grateful <laughs> for the environment, for the space. If you want to have a party, a house party, uh, if you want a place to come and clear your head, if you want a place to be alone, to think and think well if you want a place to be by yourself you can always reach out to big chill stays and they'll get you sorted out so do reach out <laughs> i like your smile thank you thank you yeah oh. it's going to make me shy but it's not gonna work <laughs> yeah thank you anyway oh, okay. so we we're talking about your dreams and aspirations yeah so what what was your what's that big dream that visits you every day and that aspiration that you have that that moves you to do what you do. Okay, so um, growing up as a dancer, I've always wanted to dance on big stages. I've always wanted to have that positive impact. I've always wanted people to 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 look at me and say, "Yo, this guy is dancing, but he's he's doing great with the dance." And I've always wanted people to 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 respect dancers, like. Because dance is a talent from God. It's not. It's True. not anything rubbish. Yeah, True. It's a talent from God, and you know a lot of there are lots of people out there who love dance. Mm, like no lot. cap, yeah. There are lots of people out there who love dance. People see dance and like their attention is drawn to the yes. dance, no matter what they are doing. No matter just, what, they will leave it so and then watch what is going yeah. on. So like growing up, I I wanted I want to I wanted to dance on big stages. I want to travel around the world. Um, for people, I want I wanted to travel around for people to experience my vibe because on Instagram I used to have online classes where I teach people dance and people. Wow, I think yeah. I should sign up. Yeah, you have to. I should sign. My dad, hey, <laughs> my dad is there. It's not good though. <laughs> people across the world sign up and like we share vibe online, but the the dream is to. Travel around the world, meet them in person, share that vibe, share, mm. share my culture. You know, there's with a them. different vibe when yes. the person is yes. right in front of yes. you. Yes, yes. And God being so that. good, you know, that dream has started like in September. I went to Israel. Wow. Yeah, and I hosted a dance class and it was sold out. Like, wow. It was, I was so amazed and 
it was at the ten out. Yes, it was like it was like a dream come true, and that's just it was a dream come yes, true. <laughs> yes, and that is that is like just the starting of bigger things to come. Yeah, I wanna I wanna host like I wanna go on a tour teaching dance across the world, wow. visit as many countries wow, that as sounds, possible. That sounds too interesting. Yes. Yes, the dream is big, so I need God to direct my steps. And also, um, one of the, the, the dreams, but now it's becoming a reality, was to have a foundation. Woo! Yes, foundation for kids. A foundation for kids? Yes. To have a foundation for kids? Yes, what, a charity what, foundation. What, yes let's 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 move there quickly okay. so yesterday <laughs> while i was in bed <laughs> i realized you go you went uh live. you had yeah you had a live session on tiktok yeah and you launched your foundation i was yeah. just watching you flip the paper <laughs> launched the foundation yeah no, let's go yeah so you all go and look out for the details of it yeah. and you know, when I see people who are within my age who are doing these things, I can't, I can't help but be inspired. Because, Charlie, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving back to society. Yeah. And we don't have an excuse to say that we don't have it all together. No one really has everything together. together. Yeah. But everyone is trying in their little way to give out. And I realized that you, you didn't, it's not today that I started this foundation thing you just launched it yesterday yeah. uh, yesterday yeah. but then you started a little by little yeah. and it's inspiring trust thank me you. Thank you so we much. are proud of you thank you yeah on behalf of all the fans or what do you call them champions champions yeah, yeah. today I'm, I'm, <laughs> henceforth i'm a champion ah, Why is he ah, champion so win so win <laughs> we are winning so, so win. yes 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 so Tell us about the foundation, what it's about, what moved you to start the foundation because a lot of people have good things in their mind that they want to do to help society, but they don't, it's like they're waiting for the right time, the perfect time to do it. Can you tell us about the foundation? Okay, so um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for having me here and thank you for giving me the platform to talk about You're welcome. It this foundation yeah so yeah. yeah just as you said i started in bits um i actually went out you know i'm that I'm, I'm i'm actually a giver yeah i believe in giving and like it's something you don't that's, have to say it much we've it's, seen it it's something mm-hmm. that is part of me and i started like going out in february okay yeah it was valentine's day and i was like yo like i know today is valentine's day people will actually be chopping love mm. but me I'll i will be chopping some kind yeah, of i want love. to do it differently <laughs> so i went out i bought like a box of chocolates and okay. then i went out to share it to the people on the streets and i also had a chance to like buy you see those who sell on the streets yeah i had a chance to surprise some of them i bought like everything they were selling really yeah wow yeah. and there was this little girl who was selling plantain chips i had to i bought everything you bought all the plantain yes, chips? everything. And wow. yeah, I felt so happy because they were so happy. Like, so happy. The joy so, gave yes, you joy. Yes, I felt so fulfilled and I was like, wow, this is something that like, I want to be doing. You don't, you don't want to ever stop losing. Yes. You don't want to lose that feeling. Yes, I don't want to lose that feeling because like, I feel accomplished. You get mm. me? Yeah, so fast forward. And then you've reached self-actualization. <laughs> Fast forward, I, I kept doing it. I went out. Um, there were some kids on the street who were not wearing slippers. I had to go buy some for them so that they wear. I bought clothes and everything. Yeah, it was bit by bit. And I was like, no, I want this to be a part of me. I want this to be something that like I'll be doing on the side, aside me focusing on my dance and everything. I want to be doing this on the side. So with months of thinking through and and taking that bold step i i got everything together and i was like i'm finally doing this and mind you there's nothing like i'm waiting for the right time mm, that's true. i i believe that we can make the time right mm. yes well, of course. So, <laughs> <laughs> so 
So <laughs> he just gave me all the quotes. <laughs> so yeah, I, I feel like this is the time for me to take this bold step and I mean this foundation is for the kids. For it's the not for purposely me. your target audience yes, is the kids. The kids on, on the, the streets. Street. Yeah, I feel like they need that love. Mm. Because there are a lot of kids on the street who have like crazy talents. There are kids on the street who 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 aspire to be like big people in the society and because these kids like they, they, don't, have they, yeah, they don't have the resources and everything like some of them grow up to be thieves some of them grow up with all kind of social, yeah, social vices, vices and everything yeah so what we learned in social yes, studies <laughs> yes yes like i'm now like what we learned in social studies i'm now like seeing the reality yeah, of it yeah that's true. and i feel like I, I I can make a little difference, but I'm, mm. I can't do this alone. True. You get to hear, yeah, like, I need everybody on board. Yeah, we can make that that little difference. At least if if we are able to change the lives of a number five of people. kids, even five, five, five people, yes, five people, five people out there, would change five, five people, people, and yeah. it goes on and yes, on and yes. on. Yes, so that is the dream, and I'm oh. looking forward to that, and I'm actually gassed up to do this. Yeah, and I'm, he's I'm gassed. Ready for it. He's gassed up. <laughs> Yeah. fired up to do this yeah. so wh where do you see the foundation in like say five years okay so yesterday i was yesterday i was saying this on my life and someone was like yo even in a year this can happen yeah, hey, but, yeah. so tell us in a year <laughs> yeah, what, do you, so, what do you want to happen so right now it's in accra in the next few years to come i would i would love to see this foundation extend to Masses, Sunyani, helping people over there mm, too. Everywhere. Yeah, and, yeah, I yeah. saw it. I saw you mentioning it. Yeah. Yeah. Tamale and, and all that. Yes. We're coming there, <laughs> northern region. Yes, and there. I wanna see this foundation like fully established mm. where we can have facilities where um we can we can group all these kids who don't even have homes. We can group all of them and get like a place for them to sleep. Oh. Get a place like Group them as a family, yeah. where they can they can start life again, yeah. and yeah, and help each other. Yes. Like know that they are not alone yes. are in that situation. Yes. They are loved. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's. I don't know what to say. That's that's inspiring. That's the only word I can use right now. That's inspiring, and God bless you so much. Yeah. So, how can we support you as the public? How can the public support? People want to make donations. How yeah. can they do that? Okay, so if if you want to donate anything, not just money, if you want to donate anything, not just money. Yeah. What what do you want us to do? No, with? some people, you know, some people Food, have yeah, some people water. have yeah, businesses that like they yeah. can actually reach out and help. True. Yeah. The but if if you want to donate money, um, the number will be down there. Yeah. Yeah. So right now we have a Momo account. Okay. We have a bank account. Okay. But right now we are working on um you know people people who know me are not only from Ghana. Okay. Yeah, people who want to support are not only from Ghana. You just said you want to teach people how to dance yeah. in Israel. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so um we are we are trying to work on a PayPal account and those international accounts that are, So um, people all yeah, over the over world, the world can, can can show their love and support when they want yeah. to. Yeah. This is a good cause. Thank this you. is a good cause with good intentions. Because some people may start foundations, but when you see, when you look at the thing carefully, they're just doing it for camera sake. But we saw you without camera, yeah. and now it's on camera. Yeah. So people can support. People can help. Let's reach out, brands, companies. Let's let's support. Let's join hands. Yeah, let's join. Let's join hands. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere, Any, whatever you can do to money, food, clothes, clothes all that, and it's December. So yes. what hap what's happening? Okay, in yes, thank you. Okay, so this is December. The first event we are going to do is to feed five hundred kids on the streets. Whoa, yes. yo, yes, that's yes. cool. Yeah. yeah, the date is not yet out, but it should be out by this. Tonight or tomorrow, yeah. Anytime. No, we're so excited. When yeah. I was a kid, I was so excited when they are doing party in my area. <laughs> Cause I know the ones in my area and I'm close by, like I'll get some food. Yeah. Come on. So, so like, I'll not be there though. <laughs> but it's just nice that, that vibe. people uh -huh, oh yeah, from your your love and all that. Yeah. And you get to experience that love. So yeah, we, we will try our best to feed five hundred kids or maybe more. Five hundred or more kids. Yes. 
So that's I it. believe there's just one person out there who can say you can have this amount of money. I believe we'll cater for about 400 of them wow, or even 700 <laughs> kids. That would be so when yeah. you get this video and you can do that, let them don't honey your heart. <laughs> don't be far away. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you and help out. Help out. Yeah, yeah. So. How do you how do you prepare yourself when you're going to dance? Okay, this so, is for those who are people like me who want to venture into dancing. Okay, <laughs> so anytime we have a performance, you know, we rehearse. Okay, we rehearse towards the performance, we rehearse on transitions, the songs you are going to use to perform, and everything. So that is one side of the preparation. Okay, so we try our best to like get everything on board, like the rehearsal, the mix. And everything and then we, we rehearse constantly like we go so how, how long do you rehearse like okay so it depends so sometimes you know sometimes we get we get the information that we have a performance if today is today is wednesday say we have a performance on saturday and our rehearsal time is tuesdays and thursdays okay you get it so some a day like this on thursday we make sure when we come everything all the concentration is going to be on the performance so okay. we try our best to get everything done. Yeah, done. And if if we, we don't get it done on Thursday, we meet elsewhere on Friday and then we get everything done before the performance. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. And on the day of performance, I mean before we go on stage, we pray. Yeah, and yeah, we God go on first, stage. God yeah, first in everything. Yeah, to do our thing. Yeah. Wow. That's to do they go on stage to do their thing. You all know how they do their thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I want to know what challenges you've had as a dancer so far and how you've overcome some of them because okay. dancing there i don't know if uh, you know in in our let's be real in our Ghanaian setting yeah. a, a typical Ghanaian home if you tell your mom i'm going to dance Ama, me call her, me <laughs> and that's what i want to do for like majority of my life mm -hmm. my years on earth i want to be a dancer that's what i want to pursue as a career yeah. it's it's not it's, easy yeah conveying that to your parents yeah. so how how have you overcome some of these things and what has been like your major obstacle and how you're going about it okay so starting you know like my dad my mom was 50 50 mm. but my dad was like i i, I want you to finish the school before you go and then you can do whatever you yes want but to me too, if i finish the school time is running <laughs> You get it to like, favor yes, you. Yes, it won't favor me. I'm not coming to finish four years of yeah. university. What course? What course did you do? Communication design. But I oh. majored in advertising. Whoa. Yeah, so. Please, if you have a gig for you, let me go yeah, and advertise so, for you. You yes, can do both. You can dance and be yeah. advertising and doing all yeah, that. So. I mean, so my mom, anytime it's time for most of the challenges I faced was like um, doing it with the schooling. Mm. It was one challenge that I had to like go all out for, and another thing was money wise. Oh. Yeah, because That's what money every is. yeah every Saturday I had to like pay an amount of money for dance class, my transport and everything. And you know I'm not I'm not from like a rich home. Yeah, I'm from a home that we are managing. Yeah, so yeah. we are yeah. challenge. We are managing. <laughs> <Ghana with you. laughs> we are managing. Yeah, so it, I can it, stay by plan. <laughs> it 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 was like. I, I had to I had to I had to make a lot of sacrifices. Okay. You get to yeah. So and going into the dance, other challenges I faced was injuries. Yeah, you know, sometimes There's dance, injuries? Yes, of course. Sometimes wow, 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 let me give you a scenario. Movie. There was this time we we're performing and I had to do a move. A, a, a tiny a spin. move. Yeah, a spin move. And I didn't I didn't step well, I didn't hey. land well. When I come so, for my dance classes, <laughs> don't include that. I cannot so, be walking out with injury. I didn't land well, and I. Then I, I brought myself. I just got my hands myself. No, no, it was it was a mistake. I just oh, I just didn't sorry. land well, and I twisted my my ankle. So I had to I had to stop dancing. For I had some to time. go on here yeah, for some time for like two or three weeks. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, and my friends were performing, and I'll be at home. Hey, you be oh, watching? Hey. It's like you have to follow in the foot of your yes, bench. Yes, yes, yes. So some of the, the challenges you face can be injuries and money sometimes issues. money issues and everything. But yeah. But as far as you have the focus on it. And like, the passion. Yeah, the passion. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing will stop you. Once you have the focus mm -hmm. that you do it. Alright, alright. So we're done. 
but one more thing to your viewers i want you to give them a little advice on to those who are aspiring to be dancers what would you tell them all right so i would want to say a big thank you to you all for the support so far if you are watching me and you love champion Rodi, i'm so grateful for that love and i want to tell you that with god everything is possible okay and if you have any talent hidden in you make sure you bring it out because the world needs it okay your talent can heal the world so if you're out there and you want to take a bold step don't hesitate to do that just pray to god and take that action and you are going to do it so i want to give a big shout out to team champion the ronita family and everyone who supports champion Rudy. i love you so much and thank you for everything